seeing Britain, Holland, and Prussia as all being potential enemies, these mount this mountain declared war on all powers at the same time. It was an incredibly foolish military strategy, but they were idealists who believed that the revolution would naturally rise up because surely everyone agreed with them and their crazy ideas. All the same, uh, they were tasked with creating a new constitution to replace the one they had just overthrown, which replaced the previous laws of France. But they got distracted when in December of 1792, they put Louis XVI on trial for treason. Following January and early 1793, they found him guilty of treason, again after a trial that's really not seen as anything just, and they had him executed by the guillotine before a gasping and jubilant public there in the city of Paris itself. They finally did make a constitution after getting rid of their king. And the constitution they put to a vote for all the people of France that could vote. And the constitution was actually voted, yes, into power with an astonishing margin of victory. 1.8 million French voted for it and only 11,000 voted against it. It's seen as a triumph for how brilliant this constitution much have, must have been. But of course, the curious thing is, is that there were some 44,000 committees of vigilance. Uh, these were groups whose job was to oversee the voters who had to vote in public where everyone could see the vote that was actually cast and what you voted for. And so it's often been thought that these committees of vigilance who were armed and who were also in charge of drafting unwilling young men into the Revolutionary Army may have had something to do with the outcome of this election. So it wasn't really a triumph of democracy or republicanism as it was often seen.